All right, what is going on everybody? As you can see, my new TA hood from AAR Quality Fiberglass, also known as Stinger Fiberglass, has finally arrived and I'm really excited. I ordered this hood back in early October, so it took about four months to get here, which considering the current environment with the global supply chain issues and stuff, getting it here in four months is actually pretty good. Before I placed the order for the hood, I had been reading online, they said it could take up to six months to get in general under good economic times. So the fact that I was able to get in four months during the current situation is really incredible. And so my hat's off to them uh, for being able to get this produced and shipped out in such a quick amount of time. So you're probably wondering, wait, you've already got a fiberglass TA hood on your Challenger. Why do you need to replace it? Well, that one is from Unlimited Products and I've ordered it over 20 years ago. And Unlimited Products does really good at making race car parts, but they're not the greatest for street car show car parts. And so some of the details are lacking, the fit and finish isn't quite there. And so I wanted a higher quality hood for the car and I've been wanting one for years, but at the same time, I couldn't justify spending the money at the time. But finally at a point, since it is gonna be 25 years of owning this car this year, I should go ahead and pony up and get the hood that I've been wanting for this car. So a couple of big differences are just initially the amount of sand scratches and finish work is just, the finish work's a lot nicer on this hood than it was on the Unlimited Products hood. The shape seems to be uh, pretty good. It has the actual vents in the back of the hood that the Unlimited Products hood just straight up doesn't have. And so a lot of things like that, it looks right, it looks proper. So overall, so far, I'm really happy with the way the hood actually looks. Uh, of course, next we need to go ahead and actually put it on the car and see how it actually fits on the car, how the body lines are against it with the fenders, both the front, rear, sides, all of that. But initially, I think it's gonna be really good and really worth the investment. I mean, this hood does cost about twice what the Unlimited Products hood cost when I bought it 20 years ago. So this hood was about $1,000 plus at the time when I placed it, it was like 300 and something dollars for shipping. Uh, of course, they were shipping from Florida to my house, um, but it's nice, it's lightweight. I mean, one person can go ahead and lift it and carry it around. So let's go ahead, flip this over and show you the underside because a lot of you, especially if you have a factory TA, are gonna wanna see this. All right, so here's the underside of the hood. As you can see, it looks really nice. It looks just as nice as the top does, which is great for someone like me with a 72 or someone with a TA clone. But for those of you out there with real TAs, you know, this is way too nice for your car. I mean, the underside of the TA hood from the factory was nowhere near this nice. Uh, here's a video that a friend of mine sent me. Uh, Art has the Mr. Norm's Plum Crazy TA, and so he was able to send me a video of what the underside of that hood looks like. Now, it should be noted that his hood was damaged at some point and has been repaired, but at the same time, it'll give you an idea of what to expect for a proper TA hood on the underside. So this car, this hood is definitely way too nice to put on an OE correct car, but for those of us that are just making clones or tributes or custom cars, whatever, this is actually pretty perfect. Now, a couple other things we should point out here is they do put steel reinforcement rods in both sides of the hood to help prevent it from warping in the future, so that's really nice. Uh, for those of you that plan on running the factory windshield washer squirters, it does not have provisions marked in the hood for where those go, so you're gonna have to go ahead and figure out where they are, drill them, and mount them. Uh, I'm not running them, so that's not a big deal for me, but for some of you out there, I know that is a big deal. Uh, as far as the front goes, something that's really unique for this that I don't have on the Unlimited Prox hood and it wasn't op, uh, an option on the factory hood is it has provisions to use the factory hood latch. So I might go through and dig up some of the parts because I, of course, still have the factory hood latch in my car, just not hooked up. So I might go and find the striker and stuff and hook it up and have a working hood latch that way I'm not relying just on the hood pins. Now, speaking of hood pins, this hood does not have uh, marking locations for where the hood pins should go. So you'll have to go and do your due diligence and figure out where the hood pins need to be uh, drilled out for. And so we're gonna go ahead and do that after we get the hood mounted onto the car. Now it also doesn't have holes in the front for the molding for the TA hood, uh, but if you're not running the molding, that's fine. If you are, you just go have to go ahead and drill some holes, not a big deal. And then one other thing that they do is they do emboss AAR into one of the ribs of the hood. So you can fill that if you want. I'm gonna leave it because I don't have any problems with any heartburn over it. So, but overall, 
the initial thoughts and looks of this hood, it's really a high quality piece and definitely worth the money and the wait to get it. So that's enough of us going and doing a quick overview of the hood. Let's go ahead and get it installed on the hood on the car and see how it actually fits. All right, so as you can see, we got the TA hood installed on the Challenger and it looks amazing. Things still aren't totally perfectly lined up quite right, but I've still got a little bit of adjustment to do, but overall it is night and day better than the unlimited products that I had on here for the last 20 years. And I really couldn't be happier with how it looks and fits on here, especially compared to the old one. So as you can see, I've still got a little bit of adjustment to do, a little bit of tweaking here and there. I need to get the uh, hood bumpers lowered a bit, bring it down further and stuff. Right now they're in there really tight so letting them soak, trying to get those loosened up so we can adjust those, get the height a little bit better. But overall, a lot of the body lines are lining up. It's never gonna be totally perfect because it is a fiberglass hood on a steel car um, without having a ton of extensive body work done, which I'm not gonna do because it's not the type of car that this is. But it's still gonna look amazing. It's gonna look a million times better than what it has been. And I can't wait to get it done. If you liked today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. It helps me figure out what types of videos you guys like. And of course, if you want more information i have any questions on this could don't forget you can put those in the comment section below because i read all of your comments and as always guys i will see you in the next video